Okay, what I want to show you right now is the step-by-step -step process to actually manually draft an orthographic isometric projection. How do you get to that? Well, first of all, let's look at the part we're going to draft first. This is the part I'm going to show you, the step-by-step -step method on how to draft. This is part 20. Now, this is not in any specific order, but part 20, how do we actually draft this drawing? What I went ahead and did was is I created a step-by-step -step method to actually draw each and every aspect of this drawing. So let's come back over here to my website and let's figure out how to get to it. We'll come over here to Teach and we'll come down here to Tutorials. We'll go to the second page of my tutorials and you'll see the second line here that says Orthographic Isometric Step-by-Step. -step. We'll click on that and it brings up these 28 steps on how to actually do that drawing. Well, each one of these steps shows you what you need to do. Like step one, print out the border sheet. And then you come up here to step two and you start laying out your grid. Now everything in the yellow is what I want you to draw. And it gives you the measurements of how to draw that. And it shows you, you know, the hash marks you to come off on that width. Step number three is how to start doing your measurements. Well, remember, all of our drawings that we're doing, let's go back to this one are done in half scale. It says for every one inch it's going to be half that size. So for two inches, excuse me, for four inches right here it's actually going to be drawn as two inches. Up here where it says this vertical height is two and a half inches it's going to be drawn at an inch and a half. So again let's go back to the step-by-step -step method. So here you see me laying those out for at the half scale. Then as you come back over here to step number four it shows you adding additional marks to show the height of this part in the top view and the height of this part in the uh, front view and right view as well. And then you get to this point right here where you draw in those actual shapes. You can actually use this as a template going forward for all of your drawings with the exception of 1 through 10 and a few others after that because they actually come in at 5 inches. So let's go back. You have all these methods. You get down to about method number 10, it starts showing you how to draft in the isometric. Let's go look at number 11. Number 11, it shows the side here going in this direction where you flip the triangle over. And then by the time you get to 14, you can already start to see your 3D part coming into view. Let's go all the way down here to step number 20. And here you can see you're adding features to that part. As we come over here to 22, you can start seeing it coming in. And then we get all the way over here to 24, you actually have the part drawn. So then you'll go all the way through this method here where you come in and you start writing in your name where you leave a gap at the top and the bottom of your actual title block where it doesn't sit on the, uh, the black lines that define the title block. So this is the step-by-step -step method for doing part number 20. Now, you can also find a playlist out here on my channel. Let's go to my channel here real quick. That shows you on my channel. I'll go to my created playlist. It shows you this uh, the videos here. There'll be eight counting this video of the step-by-step -step methods for doing your manual orthographic design. And you'll see all those videos over here. It'll show you all of the methods of how I actually did part number 20 in these two videos here. But if you don't want to watch all the videos, which you should, there'll be a step-by-step -step method video up here. So again, let's go back to uh, my website here. This is the step-by-step -step method. And if you come back over here, you'll have over here on the left, right-hand side, uh, the other methods as well. And that's all for now.